Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point and today we will discuss something which you might not love, you might not enjoy but trust me after this video, this is the option you're gonna use the most. Yes, I'm talking about layer masks. Layer mask is the feature which seems, you know, when you're not aware of it, it may look, oh my god, what am I supposed to do with it? But once you are clear about layer mask, it makes your life super easy. And trust me, just a few steps in layer mask works wonderfully. Amazing effects in Photoshop can only be created using layer masks. So let's understand what are layer masks. Let's begin. Layer mask, just remember one thing guys, layer mask means selected transparency. Whenever you're working with layer mask, always think of one thing, selective transparency. That means you want to make your effects or your part of image transparent only for that particular area. We have done opacity. In opacity, we were dealing with the transparency of the entire layer. But with masks, we will only remove or add the effect on particular areas and the remaining areas we're going to make our effect transparent. Okay, the brush tool which we discussed in toolbar helps with your layer mask. So if you know brush tool which is very simple, you know layer mask. So basically white in a layer mask, the white brush I mean means that the effect would be 100% visible. If you want to make that effect invisible, you use the black brush to make it 100% transparent. And in between the shades of grey gives you different levels of transparency. So let's move in and trust me, this layer mask will make your life so easy and your images so beautiful. Let's dive in for a shop. So today let's learn about layer mask. So layer mask is one of the things where people are scared or feel that they would not understand. But trust me, it is the most easiest and most powerful feature which can enhance your pictures and it's super simple. Before we start, let me just take a copy of my background layer so that I don't do anything to my background layer. So I'm going to keep it selected, drag it here and now I have a copy. So this is my image and I wish to apply layer mask. So what I'm going to do is first, so layer mask is just selected transparency. So first understand that. So I can actually make this layer transparent by changing the opacity and I am trans. So if you see it, okay, my background line, I need to, you know, make it invisible. And now you can see that I am actually working on the transparency as a whole. So my entire image is either getting transparent, you know, can having her, his opacity less. So it's about the entire image. But when we talk about their mask, it's about selective. So I can mark some areas and only those areas I can make select make transparent. Also, I have this powerful brush tool which comes into play when we are using layer mask. So let us see how. First, I'm going to select her dress. I want to convert it to a different color. So again, I'm going to take the quick selection tool and quickly paint over her dress. So this selection tool, which can be selected by pressing W or from here, from here, it just selects my similar colors. So I'm going to paint it over and it selects the similar colors. And we have a separate tutorial on this. Now, I want to change the color. I'm going to go on the layer and I'm going to do new adjustment layer. I'm going to change the hue and saturation. So this will also help only a change to the selected area. So I can have a green. We have tutorials on this as well. You can go ahead and select C. So we can have any color we want. So let's go with this blue, this dark blue. Okay, so this is my selected blue. Now, I want to add a layer mask. What I want is that this new thing that I've just applied should only be visible on some part. And I want a red from my actual layer. So I'm going to do quickly. So this is my layer mask button. I'm going to click it here and I have a layer mask now. And you can also go to layer and you can also do layer mask and you can apply the layer, ma layer mask. So that's how you can apply the layer mask. You can simply drag it here and a layer mask is applied. Now I have my layer mask on and now I'm going to paint it with a paintbrush. So with layer mask, this paint tool comes very handy. Now I'm going to have 
so I'm gonna do X and now I have this black so X is the short key to get my foreground and the background swap so I'm blank I'm gonna paint with black so see what will happen how powerful so actually when I painted with black what is happening I'm actually hiding my layer mask and now if you know I want to get back so and now if I think that I overdo it and I actually don't want it so I'm gonna again choose white and okay so I'm just gonna do X or I can swatch from here with this button and I want this back so I actually now want to not hide it so if I want to actually so this is so powerful I can paint it again and I can have these things so so white and black will help me playing with my colors so and we can also have shades of gray to shades of gray to you know to uh, you know manage my the kind of uh, you know the grays will help me the in between transparency so basically we deal with so this is a pure white so let me take a pure white for this and a pure white will give me a hundred percent so that was a little gray because of that we did not get a perfect blue so so it's so powerful again I think that no I want more red so again I can go with black or just X and start. So it's actually if you see black is doing nothing but is hiding it's gonna you know making my new thing it's hiding my selection so I've applied it here so my layer mask is applied here to my hue and saturation and it's hiding so the black is making my new effect hide and white is going to make it visible so again so i can just do a white i can do just an x rather than selecting from here and again i can hide so this is how powerful layer mask can be so you can do selective transparency and not this just this can have awesome effects you can have shades of gray so you know to like we had a purple earlier when I selected not a perfect white but a gray so you can have shades of gray to determine your level of transparency you can have your paintbrush use with paintbrush you can hide and show your masking just try it and trust me it's gonna be simple easy I'm repeating my steps what I've done is I had quickly selected an area using the quick selection tool I had gone to layer and to new adjustment layer I had changed it as hue and saturation to change the color of my selected area and then finally I'd apply the layer mask from here from here I applied my layer mask and once my layer mask was selected I had used the brush white and and black brush to reveal or hide so to basically if I wanted to show my selection I was doing a white and to hide it so it's it's super simple so use these two brushes to give a powerful effect to your layer mask. Thank you and look for more videos on tutorialspoint.com.